Hey guys, we're here at the one year review on the PAL Finger Kenworth chassis. And I wanted to give you a, a one year review on how I feel about the PAL Finger with the, with the Kenworths. And that's what this video is going to go over. It's gonna go over the one year review, what I like and what I don't like. And there's really only one thing I don't like about the, the PAL Finger and the Kenworth chassis. So here we go. Hey guys, what's up? We're gonna do the one year review. It's been just about one year since I got the 370, and yep, we got them both in the driveway today, not the Range Rover. In the driveway, we have the 370, and we have the T880. I know they look the same. They, they both hook trucks. They're both 54 inch hook trucks. They're both 16 to 22 foot cans. I love them both. The difference between the two trucks are immense. I got nine liters in the 370 and 15 liters in the 880. I like the 880 a lot more than the 370. $50,000 more, but the price difference, it's worth it. In my opinion, getting the 880 versus the 370, it's like night and day. They both have specs, just about the same capabilities. The 370 is a T40, the 880 is a T50 hook. That being said, they're just about there with each other, but if you have a 15 ton can with the 880, it's gonna be way safer. It's gonna transport it easier. The brakes, from what I understand, if I remember correctly, are bigger, heavier duty brakes. Still has uh, 10 wheels, but the brake pads are bigger on the 880. 370, I like it a lot. It's a lighter duty truck. That's the one that I always give one of the other drivers. The 880, that's my truck. So I like it, you know, I'm kind of used to it. I, I'm, I'm a little, uh, you know, maybe it's not a fair comparison because I love the truck so much. But if you notice on the back guys, more damage on the truck that's not mine. And then I'm gonna show you the truck that is mine. And if you notice um, the dents right here, the reason is, if I'm gonna show you why, come over here, Matt. The reason that, the, that there's more dents is from this pivot point to the back of the bumper. You have about a foot and a half there, maybe two feet. I don't have a tape measure. Those looks about about a foot and a half. And the reason they do, they, they wanna take this out further. They wanna extend this bumper out. This way you can get a larger swing of dumpsters. If this bumper was back here, you would have an overhang farther over and then you're, um, you, you wouldn't have ICC protection. By them extending this out, you can get a longer dumpster on the truck without having to have an ICC bumper, you know, bolted on that comes out to protect you from getting a ticket from having, you know, too much of an overhang on your dumpster. The problem with that is when you bring this bumper out, and I'll come to this truck now because there's more damage on it, when you extend it from the pivot point out to here, the problem is you get damage on your, on your bumper. Now, if you notice, I was in the truck the other day and I actually was picking one up on a little bit of an angle and I didn't think I was on that much of an angle and I shoved the dumpster right through the bumper so you could see the little thing and I had to bend it out and hit it down with a hammer and I actually did that in this truck the other day and if you notice the rubber is all screwed up because I had to repair it. So that's the problem. That's the only problem really that I have with the PAL finger. I could fix this in five minutes, if Palfinger engineers needed some help, I could fix it for them, but I'm probably nobody to them, but I could fix that easily in, in 10 different ways, and they could actually get a longer dumpster on the truck, but I'm nobody, so I'm not gonna. But anyway, that's the only drawback that I have after the one year review of the truck. I love the trucks, the 880, much more stable, much more capable, the 370, Capable, not as capable, nine liters, 15 liters, 880 is wider, 370 is not as wide, smaller cab, 880 has a bigger cab, it's beautiful. I've done reviews on the 880 and the 370.